So it's been about a month since I did the first video on the drum studio build. So here it is, everything's starting to bloom. Got this Killer Rush t-shirt. Yeah, man. So figured I'd do an update for you and things are coming along well. So we are just over two months in and here's what we got. They finished the log siding yesterday on the front and the back. The decking on the front and the back has gone in. Heck, windows and doors. I think, I don't remember if the roof was on last video update but they filled in the third round they got brick on the bottom the whole way around let me kind of take you around the uh decking is going to continue around the side and go ar around it that way it's also going to connect somehow not figured out yet but it's going to connect down here go across to there uh if you remember that window there that is the existing drum room the gong drum is right on the other side of that window so let me walk you around show you a little bit more so here's a better shot of the side. That's the little kitchenette bathroom was what it's probably going to be. Uh, down here, there's the rest of the Trex composite decking stuff. It's not Trex, another Envision, the brand, but same thing. Um, no maintenance. And again, it's going to swing around the side there all the way to the back. And in the back here, there's the upper door is going to be right on the side of the kit and the lower one obviously this goes into a little storage area for the side-by-side -side mower and all that other stuff so we're so going around make sure i don't hit my log pile run into it i'm kind of there's my fire pit it's kind of jacked up right now because it's been <laughs> bumped around but here's the the back just to give you an idea so here's a better shot of the yeah that's the crown jewel right there the windows you can see that right there that one they pulled all the stuff off when they were putting that on and i took it on protective film on the inside so you get an idea off that one how clear it's going to be but the posts so if i can do my fingers these two they're going to be there on either side of the door that's about as far as they could go for support and these ones up here they're about uh, was eight feet apart because it's 24 across so yeah the storage gonna be down there I don't get up there yet because I don't do heights I did get up on the ladder to about the top took a shot but I'm not walking on that <laughs> and here's just another angle of where it's gonna be those two windows there on the side I'm gonna be seated with the mixer and everything in between those so I'll take you up there in a sec but again the vibe is I think pretty cool. So again, here's the view. There's my little cat walking around. One of them. So yeah, again, no one back here. Never will be. Because of how the properties are all set up. Okay, not that you really care, but here's where the electric box is gonna be. What I'm impressed with is how they wired. Everything's very clean um, with the wiring and everything. And also, um over here buddy of mine was like hey for the networking why don't you have a network box down here so all the internet ethernet cables the cat six that's all what that is and it runs all the way through it it's all going to come in this network box so no rat's nest worth of cables you know and switches and all that stuff upstairs so just a little side thing i'm pretty excited about too so before I take you in, just wanted to point out something with the decking. It's like, this is eight foot. It's going to be pretty much that the whole way around. And it's going to tie around to the back decking that's there. And again, this is going to tie in. I can see a better angle of it all the way across to the steps. Uh, not sure if it's going to be near the ground or up and steps coming down to there. I'm not sure yet. So, but we're getting close. So anyway, let's go on inside of here. So here is the money shot. That's the six windows, six by three, three by six. And the door off to the side, uh, don't know if they were here last time, got the beams, those three, I call them vertical beams. They're not vertical, but they're going that way. Um, they are supportive, they're structural, and the big beam right there, the trough as they call it, I call it the Danny beam. My builder's name is Danny. Uh, it's huge and it's gonna, have lights hooked up to it on the other side it's already wired as far as there's wiring up there it's going to have plugs so i can plug lights in and possibly hang cameras off it whatever um so that's going to be cool looking to stain that this weekend 
all the beam stuff. And it's going to have the eight can lights, four on the side, four above me. And they'll also be, it's not the Philips Hue, but it's like that Philips Hue lights where I've already got two inside that I've been testing and it worked pretty cool. That's where the drums are going to be, where the ladder is. And this will be where the mixer is for the most part. That wall is going to be barn wood, which is outside. You can kind of see it through the window here. All that stuff. One of my clients, they had a claim uh, on that storm we had in town March 3rd. And they're like, hey, you want some more of this barn wood before we bulldoze the thing over? I said, heck yeah. So I got to clean that up. But a lot of that is going to go on this entire wall. So which will be a cool vibe. So the rest of it's going to be... Uh, white paint ceiling and walls and the flooring is going to be look like hardwood it's engineered flooring but it's a brown kind of like the deck so it's all going to kind of tie together so the little kitchenette area can just got that little roll away island thing with the uh, leaf on the back so you can put a couple of stools up there it's got wheels so if you want to move it out of the way since there's not a lot of space for any of this and it's going to have the mini split thing up there it's already lines are ready to run for that and I'm trying to think what else yeah the electric work really cracks me up i mean they're very detailed look how just everything's nice and just goes where it's supposed to go so even along the floors here it's just a clean look that's where the electric box is downstairs the thing i showed you and some of these are network ones some are most are electric another thing my friend jason schmidt shout out to jason helped me with some different ideas on this and i'm going to do like he did uh, i'm going to have a drum riser for the kit it's going to be nine by eight ten by eight something like that and it'll be on casters that way if someone's got a project they want to use the studio for i can just roll mine out of the way and they can do their thing no big deal and if I ever want to switch, like, hey, you know what? I don't want to be in front of the windows. I want to look at the windows and swap back and forth. I'll be able to just roll over here and put the mixer and everything over there and continue on. So here's the side view that if I look to my left when I'm drumming, this is what I'll be able to see. This is where I'll probably come in and out of half the time. Uh, but the windows, just want to show you this real quick. This is the one with the protective film torn down when they were working, which I'm like, heck yeah, I'm going to get the full shot. So this is the view from this one window. So you get, again, the idea, especially now that the leaves are turning green and everything blooming. You get the vibe. Also, not much needs to be said about this, but I thought it'd be a cool touch, even though it's gonna be covered up soon. So that was that. Anyway. That's where we are. 30, 45 days is the way things are going. Uh, it's all good. Getting excited.